Hello everyone and welcome to a new mini-series I created, called Hero Dogs of the World. Every dog, like humans, are unique in their own way. A lot of dogs are loyal, trustworthy, caring, loving, and even adorable. But the one thing about dogs that many people have seen is that they can be heroes as well. These dogs will risk their lives to save a human's without a second thought. So today, I bring you the story of Trio the Bomb Sniffer. Trio the IED Sniffer dog spent years in hostile territories hunting out bombs and weapons hidden by the Taliban. But now he is retired the most taxing task he carries out is playing fetch with his owner and former handler sergeant Dave Hayhoe in Congleton, Cheshire. Trio, a black Labrador, saved the lives of scores of British soldiers in Afghanistan and was even awarded the canine equivalent of the Victoria Cross for his services. Yet as a puppy he was a badly behaved rebel in danger of being put down until intensive army training turned him into the gutsy canine described by his handler as the best military dog he has served alongside. Trio was attached to 104 Military Working Dog Support Unit, Royal Army Veterinary Corps. He instantly proved his worth in on his first patrol in a war zone finding a stash of weapons hidden in a hut at the back of a mud-walled compound. He made an impact as within weeks of Trio's arrival, the Royal Marines were intercepting enemy radio messages mentioned targeting the Black Dog. Trio's other notable heroics include finding a daisy chain improvised explosive device. IED, while working as a forward detection dog in Sanjin, Helmand Province, in March 2008. A daisy chain is two or more bombs wired together and concealed by the Taliban on the side of a path to maximize casualties among soldiers on patrol. In September 2008, Trio saved another platoon from guaranteed casualties when he again found a daisy chain. According to the army, his actions have also saved other soldiers and civilians from death or serious injury. It can be common common practice for handlers to request another dog if they believe they've got too close to their charge but Mr. Heiho told the Sunday Times he would not swap trio. You have to understand each other, recognize the slightest change in each other. The trick is to channel your fear, knowing that this will make both you and the dog concentrate better. Although he was a black dog in 50C heat, I never doubted him. During the tour, only one man was killed, just in couples. 29, who was Mr. Hayho's roommate. The Taliban took the opportunity to activate another hidden explosive just after an incident which had left Hayho and Trio out of action. As he dealt with the death of his friend Hayho described himself as a broken man. He returned to Britain and retired from the army, suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. But he credits Trio with helping him through the darker days. He's a proper dog who never gives kisses, but the times when I needed him, he'd sit beside me. He knew when I was suffering. Both Prince Charles and Gordon Brown have been introduced to the Labrador on his return to Britain from his many six-month tours of duty. In 2009 Trio was honored with the Dickin Medal from the People's Dispensary for Sick Animals for his conspicuous gallantry and devotion to duty. SGT Hayho accompanied Trio to the awards ceremony at the Imperial War Museum in London, describing Trio as his mate and best canine friend. PDSA Director General Jan McLaughlin said at the time, we look forward to honoring Honoring Trio with the Dickin Medal. It is recognized throughout the world as the animal's Victoria Cross. Trio is without doubt a worthy recipient. A defense source said, there is no doubt that Trio has saved many, many lives through his expertise. The life of a sniffer dog and his handler is fraught with danger and last month an army dog was posthumously awarded the PDSA Dickin Medal. Theo, a 22-month-old Springer Spaniel Cross suffered a fatal seizure just hours after his handler, Lance Corporal Liam Tasker, 26, was shot dead by the Taliban in March 2011. The pair uncovered 14 bombs and hordes of weapons in five months on the front line, more than any other dog and handler in the conflict. Military chiefs hailed them for saving the lives of countless British soldiers in Afghanistan. That's the story of Trio the Bomb Sniffer. Make sure to check the description below for more information. See you next time.